Today we're looking at what the equivalent to Adobe's AlphaMats is in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion. To get started, open a Fusion composition. If you're new to Fusion, check my tutorial on Fusion Basics. In Fusion, make a rectangle node. Let's make the corners a bit softer and shape the rectangle how we want it. Now let's go ahead and make a background node and give it a nice color. Then parent the rectangle to the background. The reason for doing it like this instead of coloring the rectangle is that you need the background to determine the size of the canvas as the rectangle itself has no real value. After this, add a text node and write whatever you like. To display the text and the rectangle, create a merge node and draw lines from the background and text to it. Now let's make an animation to give the text box some life. I'm thinking a shine animation on the background. Let's arrange the nodes to make our workflow a bit easier. Now create another rectangle. Shape it and angle it to look like the shine we want. Right, now to the animation. So open up the spline window and select your rectangle node. Go to the endpoint and change the position to right before the text box and make a keyframe for the center X and Y. Go to the out point on your timeline and move the rectangle to animate it. Now we have a linear animation for the rectangle. As you can see, the keyframes have appeared in the spline window. Navigate the window with the middle mouse button or by scrolling whilst holding control. You can move the keyframes by selecting both of them and simply dragging them, vertically in time and horizontally in space. Use the cursor to know on what frame you place your keyframes. Let's make the animation start a bit after frame 0. Nice. Now the shine still isn't visible on the final output, so here comes today's lesson, using merge layers as mats. If you click a node and press shift space, it will make a new node from the previous node's output. In this case, make a merge. Add the background to the merge node and remember to pick the right inputs on the merge layer for both nodes. Right. Now we have the animation of the rectangle on top of the text box. To really make it a shine, choose your merge and go to the inspector window. Change the operator mode when apply mode is normal. Choose in to only show the shine node using the text box as its alpha mat. Choose held out for the equivalent of an inverted alpha mat. Choose a top to display both the background and the shine whilst the shine is using the text box as an alpha mat. Choose X or to show both nodes whilst displaying it as an inverted alpha mat. In this case, we need the ATOP operator. Change the blend mode to make the shine a little more transparent. There we go, now we have a shine animation. Remove the line from the background to the first merge and instead rearrange your workspace and set a line from the merge 2 to merge 1. Now we have the text and the shine animation visible at the same time. Okay, now it's time to animate the entire text box to give it an in animation and out animation. To get going, create a new background node, and from that mode, make a transform node. This will be used as an alpha mat for the shining text box. The transform node is used to control the position of the otherwise static background. Choose the transform and go to your desired endpoint. Move the background all the way to the left, just outside the frame, and keyframe its position. Go to where you want the text box to be fully complete, and set the position of the background to its default position. Go to where you want the text to start disappearing and make a keyframe. Move to the final out point and move the background all the way to the right. Now we have animated the background to go in, stay there and move out again. Now let's apply this map to the text box. I'm rearranging my workspace for better overview. Make a new merge node just like before. Add the text box and the transform node to the merge. Go to the inspector of the merge node and this time use in as the operator. As you see the background is using the text box as its mat and not the other way around, so let's change the order of the inputs. You can change the order of the inputs in the merge node with Control t Boom! There we go! Look at that beautiful animation. But it can be better. 
Open the spline window to smoothen out the keyframes making a nice animation. Isolate the transform node in the spline window. Change the keyframes as desired and making the velocity slow in the beginning and slow in the end for both sections. And there we go! Wow! Now we are not quite finished yet. Drag a line from the last merge to the media out to be able to see it on the timeline. And there we go! And that wraps it up for this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more graphics machinery.